Ciao y'all, Naturally Kenya here and welcome back to my channel. And today is going to be a fun upload because it is all about planning your own Italian aperitivo, okay? Now, Italians are known for their love of food and drinks and there's no better way to experience this, uh, obviously, than by joining them for an aperitivo. But what should you do when you can't fly to Italy? What should you do whenever... You know, you want to have a wonderful aperitivo experience or recreate it after a vacation in Italy and it's a bit difficult to do. Well, don't worry, you can make it your own. So in this video, we will be discussing everything you need to know about aperitivo in Italy. If you are new here, my name is Kenya. Yes, like the country. And I'm an American girl documenting my life and experiences while living in Rome, Italy. So if you're interested, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload, which is usually on Sundays and Thursdays. And yeah, if you wanna just stick around for the most authentic experiences that I share on my channel about living in Italy, make sure you stay tuned. As I mentioned, it's a lot going on over here. It was a huge transition period. I have so many videos detailing my experiences here. And if that sounds nice to you, come join me. <laughs> like, come along. I love to have you. And yeah, let's get into the video all about planning your own Italian aperitivo. So let's get into a bit of a definition of what aperitivo is. And in my opinion, it's one of my favorite Italian traditions. It is a drink or a light meal that takes place at the end of the workday and is kind of a warm up for dinner. So if you don't take part when you visit, you're missing out for sure on one of the most quintessential experiences in Italy. Not to mention it's one of the best ways, in my opinion, to enjoy the sunset. Um, and it's similar to the American happy hour, but in reality, in my opinion, it's much, much more than that. It's just something that warms up your appetite. So it's like a pre-drink meal. Uh, and some people say like it whets your appetite for the actual food. And obviously today the drinks and food is kind of evolved and spread all across Italy. And this generally happens between like seven and 9 p.m. and Italians meet each other over a glass of wine or a light cocktail, some finger foods. And since most people eat lunch like around one or two uh, and dinner around eight or nine, more nine o'clock p.m., it's also like a really good way to like kickstart uh, your appetite for dinner. And obviously when you're visiting Italy, you can hit up any aperitivo bar. Uh, it's just as useful. And it's a great way in my experience to uh, experience the local culture to just unwind after a long day, to people watch uh, after a long day of sightseeing too, and just hold off on your hunger until you're waiting for that 9 p.m. meal, which I know seems late, but the longer you're here, you'll realize you really wanna book at like 9 p.m. for dinner. Um, so this can just be really casual. It can be a beer or you can do something more luxurious on a rooftop of a hotel with a view. But whatever you choose, it still is a wonderful experience. So let's get into some tips. How can you plan your own aperitivo? Uh, you can definitely host your own by bringing a little Italian culture or so to speak into your home. So if you do want to plan an Italian aperitivo at home, there are some tips I'll give you. Uh, the first is obviously you have to choose your drinks. Like what is going to be the main drink on the menu? So there are a few choices. You can either choose to have wine or a cocktail or a beer, or for those that don't drink, you can also have a non-alcoholic drink as well. So the choice is yours. But I will say there are some common drinks uh, for aperitivo in Italy. The world famous Aperol Spritz. You guys have seen this all over. Who, who has missed the Spritz? But it's a blend of uh, soda water, Aperol, and Prosecco. Uh, so that's a classic. Then there's also a Negroni. So that's a blend of Campari, um, some uh, sweet vermouth and gin. And then another one that's really popular is a Campari soda. So that's exactly what it is. Campari mixed with soda. So of course you can really choose any drink that suits your taste for a Peritivo. Um, But you know, you wanna make something, if you're having something at home for a few guests, then you all are on the same page about it. Second, I wanna say you probably want to choose your snacks wisely. So this can be from chips to olives, 
Some people have cured meats and cheeses. Uh, those are also great options. Nuts, basically you can get however creative you want you want to. It's really up to you. Uh, so you can choose any snacks that you prefer or maybe get your guests to respond to what they prefer for their aperitivo. And also consider serving a few more snacks like you could have bruschetta, crostini, you could have hummus. Some people are starting to include a little bit of guacamole. Every once in a while you have guacamole. Um, some people have tzatziki dips. It really just depends on how you feel that day. So it's really like you have full creative control over what you like to serve as a snack. Uh, some people actually serve uh, vegetables as well. So you might have a carrot, celery sticks, um, I don't know, bell pepper. Just, it's really a mix of what you want. So don't feel, you know, limited or restricted to having a certain snack alongside the Perichiba. But I will say it's nice to have a little bit of variety for everyone, you know. And so some people like they have a sweet tooth. They would prefer like to have some type of fruit there as well. So you could have like a mini dessert. Uh, maybe a mini tiramisu, maybe a cannoli, something like that to also transport you to Italy for sure. So like I said, ultimately the choice of the snacks are up to you. The possibilities are endless and just feel free to mix and match and experiment with different flavors, textures to create the perfect aperitivo for you and your squad, <laughs> you and your guests. And then third, I would have to say, you have to choose your setting. So what is the vibe? Is it going to be indoor or outdoor? Um, and for both, I have a few suggestions. So for like an outdoor aperitivo, it would be cute to like set up a picnic blanket, you know, make it cute with a few pillows in the park, or maybe if you're on a beach uh, by the sea, you could just set up a nice casual, you know, blanket outside where you can bring everything there. Um, you could also set up maybe um, a table on your balcony or a patio. And then obviously you can decorate it with a few flowers, make it look nice or candles. If you're trying to have a little bit of a romantic element, a little elegant touch. And then obviously you can serve snacks as well, um, maybe in small little bowls. Some people choose if it's something casual with just friends. Some people just choose to have it um, like with paper plates or napkins, so it's just easy to clean up after. But obviously, if you're doing something a little more elegant, you might want to bring out the cutting board, um, the china, no, I'm kidding, <laughs> but they definitely like glass plates. But for an indoor aperitivo, I think it may be easier to organize. So I personally would consider creating something very cozy and not yeah, romantic, but maybe a little bit with some candles, soft lighting, you know. You can have uh, cloth napkins instead of paper if you were to go outside because obviously it's easier to dispose of those. And also you can have uh, something nice, like bring out the white tablecloth, bring out the floral centerpieces. You can really make it what you want, you know. So you could just set up a charcuterie board. You can have it in a nice silver or um, crystal dish. And, you know, have some music going in the background. Don't forget the music. You know, it could be some soft jazz, some classical music, really anything you want to set the mood. Um, another good idea could be to create like your own DIY bar. So if you can't decide on a certain drink of choice or people love to have, you know, their own options, you can set up your own bar up with like your favorite drinks, uh, maybe, you know, different options for your guests, have some mixers and then also you could have um, maybe a themed aperitivo, like you could have something that would be nice for your guests to experience like, um, uh, like wine or cheese tasting or, you know, a, a cocktail party. Obviously you can do a lot of things with aperitivo. Don't feel restricted. I'm pretty sure anyone would just be happy to be transported back to Italy and having an experience that is really memorable. And obviously if you're hosting, it could be even better, you know? So I hope this video inspired you a bit for your own aperitivo. And I wanna say thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date on my latest videos and be sure to check out a lot of the other videos on my channel as i mentioned i have a lot of videos about life in italy my experiences and i have uploads for you guys on sundays and thursdays so that's all for this video and i will see you guys next time ciao y'all yeah.